Here is Leslie demonstrating perfect buoyancy while shooting a southern stingray. And here is Leslie getting hunted by a tarpon. Insert Jaws theme here. Yellow Submarine is in much more of an urban setting than most other sites on Bonaire. While there is a bit of nature in the form of gardens and shrubs in front of the properties lining Kaya Crane, and there are birds and crabs across the street, people and pet watching are also entertaining ways to spend a surface interval. Lots of bicycles go by, and dogs are quite common. The owner told me this one likes hunting for crab. And this one's doing its best King of the World Titanic impression. Just down the street from Yellow Submarine is a pier used by fishermen. The birds know when the daily catch comes in and wait patiently for the fish to get cleaned. It's the circle of life and all, but still kind of sad for the snapper and grunts. A few blocks beyond that, you might catch a weekend exercise class or even some water polo. Back to Yellow Submarine, there is a 60-foot pier directly in front of the dive site, and, if you have sharp eyes, you might catch people out working on their boats. We saw some pretty cool things underwater as well. We've shared white mullets before, but this is a school of striped mullets. This tube-like creature is called a black tunicate. This much smaller creature is a black aglaja. Although seahorses are getting a tad more frequent, they are still special whenever we see them. Fighting grazebees, however, are still in the ultra-rare category. On the night dive, this mushroom scorpion fish was the first one we've seen on Bonaire. As was this very unique sea slug. And this brightly colored octopus crawled along the shallows. That is just a preview of what's coming up later. But before we move on to site logistics, let's visit that old chestnut, subscriptions. If you find these videos informative and or entertaining, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you have dive buddies that you think might be interested, consider spamming them with links. Or take a screenshot, have posters made, and plaster them around town. It's all about the promotion. Thanks! Super aggressive smiley face. Yellow Submarine is less than a mile from downtown Krylandike. Start on Kaya Gobernander Nicholas de Brut for 0.8 miles. Turn left on Kaya Crane which is noted by a building with flags and paved driveway on the right, and a blue directional sign on the left. Turn left again at the coast and proceed about 600 feet, until you see the yellow submarine signs. Although Dive Friends is right there, they don't allow parking, so we typically park across the street. Trees and buildings provide shade in the morning, but your car will get hot the rest of the day. As with all Dive Friends facilities, if you rent gear from them, there are benefits. There is a mostly covered area where you can set up your gear, but when they have classes or at peak times, it can get a bit tight. They also have rinse tanks and lockers. There's even a hose you can use as a makeshift shower. Of course, their shop is open to anyone in case you need something at the last minute. And their front porch is a great place to relax between dives. In case it's your first dive here, make sure to check out their giant site map. If you don't rent from them, you can always bring your own gear pre-assembled or do that at your vehicle. The entry point is across the street, just to the right of the pier. 
Although this concrete ramp to the left may look tempting, it tends to get a bit slippery with algae. Use the handrail or your buddy for support, as that last step is quite far from the others. Once on the beach, walk in through the protected area, marked by floating buoys and rope. For the most part, it's a gradual slope. However, there is a rocky step at one point. You can certainly surface swim to the reef, but there is an awful lot to see swimming through the shallows. No matter how you get out and back, you may see a dive friends class going on. Clearly there are boats all around, and some of them even more directly to the pier. Please stay vigilant and keep track of your surroundings whenever near the surface. The reef at Yellow Submarine sits at 230 degrees southwest from the entrance, and 50 degrees northeast is the heading back to shore. The reef starts at the top of the drop-off, which generally has a lot of life around it. We saw schools of smallmouth grunts, mahogany snapper, and a roaming tarpon. The fish are in abundance at depth as well, certainly the brown chromis. But let's pull out the wide lens and check out the reef at 20 foot increments. Note that the reef here is not just one large field of coral, as there are frequent patches of sand throughout. That said, you can see a lot of coral diversity, even in small clusters. We love the shallows downtown because there are so many areas to find sea life, both for divers and snorkelers. There are large areas where it's all sand, and others that are a mix of small rocks and coral debris. A number of large boat moorings provide homes for coral and shelter for fish. The pier also offers protection for juveniles and a shady respite for larger fish. This suspiciously straight patch of coral debris is about halfway to the drop-off and was home to, among other creatures, a juvenile smooth trunkfish and a Caribbean octopus. All that isn't to suggest that the fish are all hiding, however. Schools quite frequently roam the shallows, like this school of stoplight parrotfish grazing on algae, this school of yellow goatfish rummaging through the sand for small crustaceans, and this school of striped mullets foraging for whatever they're hungry for. As with any downtown or harbor area with a long maritime history, you are likely to come across old discarded items, from engines and tires, to ropes and anchors. Other areas to explore include a number of barrels scattered around the site. We saw several purple patches of eggs being guarded by blue-tinted male sergeant majors. And, if you get absolutely bored, there are a few PVC shapes in the protected area to swim through and test your buoyancy. Finally, don't just swim over the reef, but take some time to look underneath the large coral heads and overhangs. Lots of animals use those for a bit of shelter, to hide out, and rest. <music> Leslie called me over when she saw these two Graysbees going at each other. It was pretty epic, and went on for almost two minutes. The black velvet texture makes it hard to see any details, but this two black creature sticking out of the coral head is a black tunicate, and it was a first time capture for us. 
another first time capture, and also hard to see, but because it was the size of a grain of rice, was this black aglaja. They're in the head shield slug family and move pretty fast for their size. Several Dive Friends personnel told us where to find the seahorse. Kudos to them for sharing the location. Too bad it wasn't facing outward. From stingrays to hunting teams, there is a lot of activity to observe. Here is a sampling of the fascinating sea life we saw at Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine was just as exciting at night. It started with this mushroom scorpion fish just sitting in the sandy shallows. Also in the shallows was this octopus which put on quite a color show. Plus, I got to show Yolanda a seahorse for once. It was shy at first but came out a bit later. But the highlight of the evening well, for me, was this 3-inch sidegill slug called an inconspicuous pleurobranch. Take a look at some of the other magical and mysterious creatures we saw after sundown. Enjoy! Enjoy!